game of football is a great game. It's a big game this weekend. But we're in the game of life. There's priorities, and sometimes when people need a hand up, you got to just step up and do what needs to be done. You know, it's always great to share the Super Bowl with the great guys from the NFL that go with us all year on missions around the world. Once again, we shared this site with uh, Garth Brooks' teammates for kids project. Let him go. Let him go. Get him open. Get him open. Get him open. Get him open. Oh! Let's get it again. Nice play. My favorite athlete is Larry Fitzgerald because he's a fast runner and he's a wide receiver. Larry needed a hearing aid. He was born with hearing impairment. Good to see you. You doing all right? Yes. Good. When Larry Fitzgerald walked in, I thought it was great to meet him. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade? Yes. First year of high school. Cool. I like that he cares about other people. Well, I thought it was pretty cool for him to come in and help out everybody here. This is really what matters in life, and to be able to share um, this experience with Starkey in my city that I play in is, is really special. blessing to our family. Samuel's my youngest of um, my four hearing impaired kids. Can you say hi? <laughs> Nikki and I actually have a deaf aunt, so for us this really hits home personally. Do you hope I'm going to be the champion forever? <laughs> Joseph was just precious, and like for Nikki and I, we have such an amazing loyal fan base that gives so much to us weekly, so the fact that we can take time and give back to them is exactly what we want to do, and that's why we're here today. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I like that smile. It's very heartwarming. It's really interesting and exciting to watch the reactions when they do get their hearing aid. It's like opens up a whole fullness to life, I think, for these people. That's got to be the moment. That's the moment when you see their faces after the doctor's talking to them. And, you know, you could tell it's like the first time where they really heard something. Incredible. Incredible moment. <laughs> the Super Bowl is one thing. But this is completely bigger than the Super Bowl. So all these people that came here, the kids, older people, they're all here for the first time, and that's beautiful. Oh, man, this is it's great. This is one of the best things I've ever seen, to be honest. I mean, changing somebody's life right on the spot, it's pretty awesome. Yep, there she goes. So she's going to be able to hear, hopefully, some environmental sounds from it. So right now she's a little bit overwhelmed because she's never heard anything before, so this is all new to her. Her world has been silent, so um, the hearing aids are going to help change that for her. Uh -huh. She was getting programmed. Yeah, she's going to wear them yeah. every day, she said. To see that smile on her face. Man, I wish more people around the world understood what Starkey is doing and what, what they will continue to do. and. and and figure out a way to be a part of it because we're all so fragile. Through my own adversity in my life, I've learned that it's important for people to understand and feel that they're not alone. Uh, I think when the hearing aids are popped in and the volume's just right once it's tweaked, every single one of these individuals, these recipients, understand that they're not alone. <laughs> My favorite part of today is that even though there's a big game going on, it's an exciting weekend, people take their time out to come out here and do God's work today. Are you excited these are so small? Yeah. How's that? How's that? Handsome guy like you should have big ugly hearing aids like those old ones. These are neat. <laughs> Bill is an incredible guy and he's doing incredible things and he's very inspiring and he brought me to tears twice while I've been here already. We're seven billion brothers and sisters and we're all better when we help each other. We oh, lift each other higher, we stand taller. Really inspiring, so I instantly was connected and now I'm like, 
I'm in. I've never seen a guy enjoy his work so much as that doc in there, Bill. He loves what he's doing. Well, you can work with it. <laughs> That's the only way we know life, is by sharing it, by contributing to it. Uh, this is one team. All of these people who come out here, I just think more people need to come together that are doing good things. And as we reflect the light back and forth, it gets so bright it might drive back the darkness and we'll see tomorrow.